What's up, everybody? Welcome to Physical Friday. We're sitting in the RRL. This is my gym. It's not really a gym, it's a garage, but this is where all the work gets done. And my, actually, not much of the work gets done in here. It gets done right out there in the driveway, outdoors. That's where I like to work out. You don't need a lot of equipment when you work out. And uh, one of the things that we want to talk about is a workout that takes really very, very little equipment. And this is one that I've been really falling in love with the last, last week or so. I've been doing this a lot. If you remember when we talked about all the abbreviations and the acronyms and different workouts, one of them was E-M-O-M, -M, EMOM. And that stands for every minute on the minute. And you can do that with a single exercise. You can just designate a certain number that you're going to do every minute on the minute. If you finish early, you have a little rest, you're going to start at the top of every minute and you're going to do that. There's also an additional uh, workout that I like to do, and that is an alternate EMOM workout where you're going to start at the top of each minute, but on every other minute, you're going to do a different exercise. So this is a really great one to do if you have very little equipment or if you want to do something in a team format. In a team format, it's very easy to do. One guy does one exercise while the other's doing the other exercise. Then you switch and continue to do that for whatever the designated period of time is. So let me tell you how you get one of these started for yourself, no matter what kind of equipment that you have access to. And a lot of us, maybe some of the gyms are still closed. You don't have a lot of equipment, but you do have a dumbbell at home or a kettlebell at home, or maybe you've got you know more, or you're, you, you have a gym like I do. So no matter what kind of equipment you have, you can come up with a format that'll work great. What you wanna do is you wanna test it out. And whatever your um, exercise that you want to do is you want to test it out so that you're getting an amount of work done in about 35 to 45 seconds when you're fresh. So let's just say it's push-ups, uh, push-ups and running, okay, shuttle runs. You could drop and, and watch the clock and try to see how many push-ups you can do in, in 35 seconds. Let's say you can do 25 in 35 seconds, very comfortably when you're fresh. So that may be your number. So on minute one, you're going to do 25 push-ups. Then you go out and you test out your shuttle run. How many times can you run back and forth in your driveway? Is it two? Is it four? Whatever that number is, that's going to be what you do on the second minute. The way that you do this as a team is one person will work on the first exercise while the other works on the second exercise. If you finish a little bit early, say it only takes you 30 seconds to do the 25 push-ups, well, you have 30 seconds of rest where you can move to the next station. The other guy may take 45 seconds to run and he's got 15 seconds to get to the push-up station. You can do this with any exercises. Some of the things that we've been doing, we've been doing uh, row calories, so 15 row calories paired with 15 burpees, or we'll do... Uh, 15 calories on the bike, 15 calories on the ski erg, 15 calories on the rower, and we'll do that for nine minutes or 18 minutes or how many ever minutes we want to go. We can do this with uh, weightlifting, gymnastics movements, running, rowing, skiing. You can do it with just about anything. I'm going to put all the workouts that we did in this format in the show notes, and you can go check them out or you can come up with some of your own. It's really easy to do. Just get that amount of work that you can do in 45 seconds fresh. Find another exercise. Get the amount of work you can do in 45 seconds fresh like that. Put them together for 10 minutes and give that a try and see if you can hold that same amount of time that you were when you were fresh as you start to fatigue, then see if you can hold that same amount of time. So if you're doing it in 30 seconds, see if you can hold that 30 seconds all the way through the 10 minutes. Then what you're getting is a lot of work followed by a little bit of rest. Intense work, followed by a little bit of rest. It's a great format. Give it a try. I'll put the, the workouts that I've been doing in the show notes, and I'd like for you to send me the ones that you come up with. Maybe I'll try them here. And that's podcast at saltwaterexperience.com. You can send me an email. Let me know what you're doing. Let me know if you like this format. All right, that's Physical Friday for today. We'll talk to you next week.